Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, SAP ABAP new syntax, and we are covering the new features of Open SQL. So as a part of that, firstly, we covered the separator between the columns is comma. All host variables must be prefixed with at the rate. What are your host variables? that data objects are called as host variables and these are your corresponding guest variables. Then we covered while writing the query itself, you can use the conditional statement case. After that, we covered the use of literals. The literals are more effective whenever you want to check data exists or not. Because based upon literals, we can simply check true or false result. Before I move on to the next point, I just want to put focus on one important observation. Have you seen in the previous videos, when we covering or whenever we are covering this new features, the role of application layer is getting minimized. Suppose simple example. Previously, what we did, we are fetching data from database layer. Data comes into the internal table of application layer. You are performing some operation and then you are displaying data. Your database layer is also doing the work. Your application layer is also doing the work. Now just see, now we have a provision to use the case statement in the select query itself. It means whatever we required, we are getting everything into this query and we are simply displaying. So the role of application layer is completely minimized from the database. Whatever is required, we are getting as it is. Suppose if I will talk about this literals. Previously, you are bringing data onto the application layer. Now we are not bringing anything. We are just checking for true or false result. And whenever we slowly, slowly move on to new features, further new features, you will realize that database is due to database is giving everything, whatever is required. And the role of application layer is getting minimized. Nothing has to be done on the application layer. Whatever is required, we are exactly getting from the database and we are simply, simply displaying. And in the future, whenever we will go for HANA and SAP is preferring, yes, whenever you have HANA database, push everything onto the database. Anyways, HANA is not our target as of now. As of now, our target is to go for new syntax. So that's why I'm putting one stress on one important point that in the new syntaxes, new features of open SQL, the role of application layer is getting minimized because whatever we require, we are directly getting or we are exactly getting the same to same thing and we are displaying. Now I will move on to next feature. And whenever we will cover this, you will say the role of application layer is nothing. We are getting exactly what we require. Now we can use the aggregate functions like sum, count, max, min, average in the query itself. Previously, when we do not have the new syntax before that, you have to bring the data onto the application layer and you, too, you need to apply this particular operation. You need to apply this aggregate function. Sorry, you need to apply those aggregate function. Now, in the query itself, we can go for this aggregate function. Now, what I will do, I will take a requirement same to same way. I will show you through old way. Then we will go, go for the new way or we will use the SAP ABAP new syntax. So I will take a requirement first. What is the requirement? I will go to VBAK table. Now you all know this is sales order header table. Now what customer is saying? 
कस्टमर इज से आई वॉन्ट द टोटल अमाउंट बेस्ड अपॉन क्रिएशन डेट सपोज इफ आई एम पुटिंग दिस डेट सपोज सेकेंड जुलाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सपोज आई एम पुटिंग दिस डेट On this particular date, what is the total amount? Or we can say, what is the total amount of sales order for this particular creation date? Suppose if I will make some. So if we will go for this second July two thousand twenty three, it should display the sum seven forty. Suppose if I will go for suppose third July. If I will execute. then it should display this 80130 rupees so what is our requirement customer want the total sum of sales order based upon creation date this is our requirement so firstly i will show you how we achieved previously before a bab 7.4 then we will simply simply go for the new syntax and we will use the aggregate functions in the query itself so firstly what i will do i will create a program and widely used now i will go for sc38 transaction put i will create a program same to same name now i will just use or change the word aggregation aggregate function i will go for create demo on aggregate functions i will choose that type as executable program and i will go for save i will save this as a local object and it is very important that to cover the old syntaxes as well because it will help you to perform in the support or maintenance projects and old syntaxes work are working as it is suppose if i am saying sap is giving thousands of new program billion trillions of new programs if sap made the old syntaxes obsolete it means sap has to change the code of those programs but those programs are working as it is so old syntaxes are as it is suppose now i will take a select option now this time i will take the input as date creation date because we want to make sum of amount i want the total amount of sales order based upon creation date so what will be the input for this program creation date so i will write s underscore er dat 4 i will simply write lv underscore er dat i will declare lv underscore er dat lv underscore er dat i will pass the data element of er dat i will activate up to this level i will provide the selection text go to text elements and i will go for ddic reference so our input is red now we will fetch the two columns data from the table creation date and we have the amount what is the amount field and etwr i will fetch the data of these two columns from the database table firstly i will show you by old way so firstly we will create a structure type types begin of lty underscore data so what is first column er data type data element of er data now i will come on to netwr amount type netwr underscore ak if you do not have latest system the data element is underscore ap so whatever is in your system you can simply use 
I will simply add this structure back. I will declare internal table and work area. LT underscore data type table of LTY underscore data. Now I will use work area. LWA data type LTY underscore data. So our structure is ready, internal table is ready, work area is ready. Now we need to fetch that data from database table. So I am fetching select yardat and etwr from VBAK table. I will store into internal table where ER that you all know whenever you have select option, you have to use it. So based upon the creation date, our data, our data is in this internal table, date and the amount. Now we need to go for sum. I want to make sum of the amount based upon creation date. Now you all know those who know previous concept, you can use collect statement also. You can use control break statements also. Now suppose if I will go for collect. With those who don't know collect, they can simply refer the ABAP programming part one playlist. There we have a clear cut explanation on collect statement. What is collect statement? Collect is used to make some of numeric field values based upon unique character field values. And I put so much stress at that point of time, a back programming part one, C, N, T, T, they are called as your character data types. I, P and F integer floating point and this packed decimal are called as numeric data type. So we will make some of the fields having these three data types based upon these four data types. Just see here, your date, this particular date, I want to make some of this particular column based upon this date. Now just see here in this table itself, your ER dat, if I will go for ER dat, is it a date data type? Yes, it is a date data type, but is date? Date is called as your character data type. So we are making some of this numeric, we are making some of this numeric field values based upon unique character values. So can we use collect here? Yes, we can use collect here because I want to make some of this NETWR column. NETWR column is your amount field. I want to make some of this amount based upon date. What is the data type of date? Date is your D. D, D means your character data type. So I will simply, simply make some of this NETWR based upon ER dat, and I can use the collect statement. If you don't know what are called as character data type, what are numeric data types, what is the use of collect statement? You can simply refer the playlist of a back programming part one. Now your data is into this particular internal table. Now we will apply the collect statement. So how I will apply loop at LT underscore data into what is work area? LWA underscore data for every loop there is a end. Now, one by one, the record will go to work area and I will collect that data. So I will simply write collect LWA data into, if I am writing LT underscore data, I will clear this work area. Now, this is a wrong collect statement. 
and I put so much stress at that point of time, you are putting a loop onto this internal table. You are collecting onto the same internal table. So it will go into endless loop or it will give the wrong output itself. Whenever you are collecting that data should go to new internal table. If you want more clarity, simple refer the videos of collect statement in the ABAP programming part one playlist. So we need to collect it to new internal tables. You can simply understand. Suppose we have 10 records into this internal table. We are collecting on to same internal table. So 10 will become 11, 12, 13, 14. So either it will go into endless loop or we will get a wrong output. So whenever we are collecting, we should collect it to new internal table. Now I will declare this new internal table. Now I will simply, simply display this data. Loop at LT underscore data one into LWA data. For every loop, there is a end. Now I will display. Suppose I will go for write statement. LWA data, what is first? ER dat. LWA data, but is second one and ETW. I will check the syntax and I will activate up to this level. So, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with new feature of Open SQL. What is new feature? Now you can use the aggregate function in the query itself. What are the aggregate functions? Sum, count, max, min, average in the query itself. Suppose based upon that, we took a requirement that I want to make some of the amount, whatever the sales order amount, whatever the amount of the sales order based upon the creation date. So firstly, what we have done, I'm showing you through my old way. So I created the structure, internal table, work area. We fetch the data. Now you all know if you want to make some, if you want to make some of numeric field values based upon character field values, you can simply, simply use the collect statement. Now your date is a character data type. Your amount is a numeric data type and our requirement is matching. So we simply fetch the data. We applied the collect statement. Whenever you are collecting, do not collect on to same internal table. It will give you the wrong output. Your collection should go to new internal table and we are displaying. Just see, here your both layers has to work. Both layers has to perform the work. Firstly, you are bringing data. Then you are applying collect onto the application layer. Then you are displaying. It means this part application layer is doing. This part your database layer is bringing the data. Both layers are working. But whenever in the next video, in this query itself, we will use the sum. We will use the aggregate function sum. So there's no need to do this particular thing. So the role of application layer is completely reduced or it is completely minimized. This is the main, main advantage of new features of open SQL as a part of SAP ABAP new syntax. In the next video, firstly, we will understand this in the debugging mode. Then I will simply go for aggregate function in the query itself. So that's it in this video. Thank you.